Okay, I've hit a, my second shot here on the 11th hole, the south course, about 10, 12 yards short of the green. And I actually have four different options. I could putt it, but I don't want to putt it because if the ball stays on the ground, the grass kind of gets in the way and it gets a little sticky. And if I miss hit it, I don't go halfway to the hole. I could take an eight iron out and bump and run it, land it short of the green, let it run up. Not a bad choice, but I don't know how the first bounce is gonna take. Bringing in a variable I can't control. Or I could take out my lob wedge and make a big swing and bring all kinds of problems into play. When I play with the members here and amateurs, I see a kaleidoscope of shots from these positions. But I'm gonna give you the safest way to play it. One that will almost ensure that you'll never take more than three strokes to get on the, in the hole. We're gonna take our most lofted hybrid and we're gonna choke down on it to make it feel like the length of our putter. Then we're gonna use our putting grip and our putting stance. Then we're gonna take a long putting stroke. So you say, why would I do that without my putter? Well, the hybrid has a little bit of loft on it. So the ball is gonna get airborne, it's gonna bounce over the grass with top spin. And this 10 or 12 yards of fringe won't really compromise the shot that much. It's so easy you won't believe it. Choke down on the club to make it feel like the length of your putter. Use your putting grip. Get close enough to the ball that you would same distance as when you're putting. The only thing we're gonna change now is we're gonna play the ball a little forwards in our stance towards our front foot. And then we're gonna take a long putting stroke and the ball should get bouncing over the grass and hopefully trundle up by that hole. Something like that. 